everyone. I thought I'd talk today um, about the the details, the job duties, um, all in a day's work. So you wake up in the morning, crawl out of bed, jump in the shower, eat some breakfast, head out to work. Our office gets there by, we have to be in by 7.30. So our day starts, we, when 7.30 hits, we clock in, we go out to our vehicle, we start it up, we check around it, make sure everything's working, tires aren't flat. Um, then we go back in and we case our flats so we get um, a bunch of stuff on our desk and then we case that in and then usually we have a bucket or two sometimes three or four buckets of magazines and um, material flats what we call them um, advertisements things like that so then after we case them in um, then we do our spurs and if they're flat spurs um, flat packages, you know, little little tiny parcels. We can case them in. Um, some people tear down their flats first, and then they case them in, and then they do a tray of just um, spurs. I try to case in everything that I can um, and carry it with me, less to carry in my bag. But you carry your bag for anything that doesn't fit in your arm, you put in your bag, and... Um, Say you start, like for me, my my first uh, loop is right out of the office, so I, I don't drive anywhere. I just walk out of the office, go next door, scan my first scan, deliver the mail, and then I walk around the block. And then my second loop is also um, right out of the post office. And uh, then when I, when I get back to the post office after doing those two loops, then I drive to the next part of my route, which I have um, some mailboxes, curbside mailboxes to deliver to, and the municipal building. A lot of times, like I in my first loop, I have a business that they always get a lot of mail. So I'm supposed to carry it in my first loop, but it's usually too much to carry. So I hold it back. And then when I start to go to my driving portion, I just stop there, drop off their mail, and pick up their outgoing mail. Sometimes I try to walk it if it's not a lot of mail, but then I get there and then there's a whole bucket of outgoing mail, so then I still have to go back. So it's all about trying to do things um, that are necessary to make the job more efficient. Um, along with your cased mail, the... the, the um, the mail that we put in our case and pull down and put in trays, we have our DPS, which is our letter mail. And the, the machines sort that up at, you know, at the different plants, and it comes in order of the route, it's supposed to. A lot of times it's got mail from out of town, it's in the wrong order, so you're contending with that. So it's always good to go through your mail in the morning just to make sure it's all right, that it's in order, that you don't have any... Um, mail for other towns or other routes. Um, sometimes we've gotten out on our routes and get a phone call, hey, I got a chunk of your mail. So um, it can, uh, can be challenging sometimes. So you're out on the street, you're delivering your mail, you're trying to be efficient. Um, when it rains, you, you should have your gear with you. I got caught in the rain yesterday. But I had a plastic bag with me, so I was able to keep the mail dry. I wasn't dry. I didn't care. If I'm not dry, it's not a big deal. Uh, especially when it's this hot and humid out, the rain is welcomed. But um, I kept the mail dry, delivered the mail. Um, and you just do that. And then you take your couple minute breaks, your 10 minute break here. And then you take your lunch break. And then you take your other last 10 minute break. But... And just keep going to your different park points, 
parking, doing your, delivering your mail, and going back to your truck, going to the next park point. Um, just be friendly to everybody. Try to help, you know, whenever questions ask, try to have an answer. Um, a lot of people try to stop you and ask for directions. Never walk up to the car, you know. Um, have them roll down their window, and but don't don't go near the car. It's just safety. Always want to be safe first. Um, just treat people with respect, and you'll be treated with respect. And not always. I mean, a lot of people they're going to find something wrong. Oh, they have to. They just have to find something wrong. And you just have to feel sorry for people like that and smile at them anyhow. So, so at the end of the day, we get back to the post office. And we have our buckets of mail. Like, I have a bucket for outgoing mail and a bucket for, for my junk stuff that came in my DPS that's not supposed to be in there. Um, letters for people that no longer live there. Just a lot of different things will get thrown in the... The junk bucket and then when I get back to the post office to sort the junk out um, some of it gets recycled some of it gets forwarded on to wherever the person moves some of it is um, um, you know has to go be put in a bin to go to the town that it belongs in or the you know put in the right place for the route that it belongs in so that's the end of the day we clean up we clock out and then we get to go home so, and then we get to do it all the next day. And it's nice. I mean, it's nice being out here and, you know, just getting to do your thing. I like that. And you get paid to be outside. You get paid to play in the rain. You get paid to play in the snow. It's a pretty awesome job. I like it. I like it a lot. And if you decide you want to work for the post office, you can always come here, ask me questions. Um, and I will encourage you and I will help you in any way that I can. But my break is done, so I am going to say goodbye for now, and I am sure you will see me again. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, you have a great day.